Hey guys, what's up? Apple Fanatic, and today I have a tutorial on the um, latest, sorry about that, on flashing the latest version of CMS Sanded Mod 7 to your Droid Incredible. The process will be relatively the same for different phones, but for the sake of the video, we'll be using a Droid Incredible. I have recently installed, reinstalled the operating system on my phone, so I am running 2.2. Um, it is rooted, however, it is not anything custom, as you can see, it is just, it is HTC Sense. Getting rid of that blinking. Um, so what you're going to want to do in order to download CyanogenMod 7 is obviously either download it from their website or raw manager, really the only two places you can download it. Link will be in the description for, um, the website, CyanogenMod, where you can get download the nightlies. However, if you want to download the nightlies through CyanogenMod, you need to have a premium account. I mean, if you want to download through ROM Manager, you need to have a premium account. I can't give you an access code to that because it would cost me $4. And I don't want to give you guys that because I don't want it to be taken away. So um, that's pretty much what you need to do. Let's get started. You're going to want to access your marketplace. And I'm going to have to actually sign in. So let me pause the video. and Or I can do it right now. I recommend being on a um, wireless for this. Because it is just the quickest way to download any device. I mean any program. I don't care if you see my password. It doesn't really matter. Alright, so we're going to want to go up here, and as you can see, it's obviously the old version of the market. We're going to go up here and hit find, and then we are just going to search for um, ROM. Actually, you know what we're going to do? We'll search for ROM manager. We'll just click on that. And as you can see, it says purchased, but I don't have it installed. So we're going to want to hit purchased, install, OK. Then we're going to want to go here, and we're going to want to hit ROM manager, install, Okay, if you download, you're going to want to download both because the ROM manager premium is not the actual application itself, it is just the um, key. So as you can see, both ROMs were ROM managers were successfully installed. So we're just going to open up the premium, and we're going to go to here, and we're going to go up to um, where is it? ROM manager, right here. Oops, right here, ROM manager, and you'll be greeted with this interface. And what you're going to want to do is, if you have not already installed Clockwork Mod, which you should have if you're rooted, you're just going to want to hit click that flash the latest version of clockwork mod hit allow and you successfully flashed it so you're going to hit ok and now you're going to want to go to download rom and at this point if you do not have a um, premium code entered in you will not be able to click this however if you have bought one for four or five dollars you'll be able to download all the cm7s and if you haven't you'll be able to download all the cyan engine mods and um, these are Cyanogen Mod 7s, however, they're not updated every day. They're updated maybe once a month. And this is a stable release, so go ahead and click this if you want to download a Cyanogen Mod and you're not um, currently opting in to download by the, um, by the ramp, prom, premium account. But for the sake of this video, we're going to go back to the bottom and we're going to hit download. And we're going to want to select the latest build. Check back every other day or so. And just you can download the ROM, RAM, ROM right from ROM Manager, and you can actually flash it without ever really having to do anything. So we're going to select build number 41, and as a new feature, you will get um, all these new comments. And you're going to want to hit install, I mean hit download, and you're going to want to select Google Apps, hit OK and it will begin to download. Now because I've already downloaded it, we're going to hit OK and 
we are going to want to hit wipe data and cache. So we're going to hit both of those. And because something's wrong with my clockwork mod, we're going to my clockwork recovery. I don't know what is wrong with it, but what we're going to do is we're going to hit reboot and recovery. If you know that there's nothing wrong with it, you could have just hit wipe data and cache and, and I will show you from here. But if you want just follow these steps, you're going to hit reboot into recovery. Hit okay. You're going to want to go down to wipe data, factories, tests, reset. And of course, before I, we do this, you're going to want to go ahead and make a Nandroid backup and make sure your apps are divided back because once you hit data wipe, you're going to erase everything on your phone. Same goes with wipe cache partition. You're going to want to obviously make sure everything's backed up. So once everything's backed up, we're going to hit wipe data. And if you haven't backed anything up, you can just go up to the top and hit reboot system now. Make sure everything's backed up and then come down here and make a Nandroid in case you need to get back for whatever reason. So we're going to hit wipe data factory reset. We're going to hit yes. It's going to wipe our phone right now. Alright, so as you can see, it is successfully wiped. Now we're going to go down to wipe cache partition. Make sure you do this on a semi-full battery because the last thing you want is for your phone to die midway through the process. Now we're going to want to go to install zip from SD card. And the reason I'm doing it this way is in case anyone has an error, I can show you guys. You're going to want to go down to choose zip from SD. Now you're going to want to go down to clockwork mod right here. Let's see if I can show you. Clockwork mod. It's kind of blurry so you can't really see. And then you're going to want to download. And you're going to want to go down all the way down to downloads.cyanogel. Let's see if you can see it better. Um, it's, it will say downloads.cyanogen.com. Cyanogenmod.com. You're going to select that. You're going to want to hit get. Then you're going to select cm underscore ink underscore full dash 41 dot zip. Or anyone that you've downloaded. So if yours is not a premium or nightly yours won't say that exactly but it will be you should be it should be the only one in this folder so you're going to want to hit select it and you're going to hit install you're going to hit yes now because i have already made a backup of this i have actually made the same thing what i'm going to do is i'm going to go down to nandroid and i'm going to hit restore and i'm going to restore for my latest backup which is actually i just backed it up a little while ago so I'm going to hit yes. It's going to back up my system. The backup or the restore will take a lot longer than the in, um, the fresh install. But once it's done fresh installing, I will just show you some of the cool features of CyanogenMod. All right, guys. So once your phone has rebooted, you will want to obviously enter all your information. And your screen will look relatively like this with a launcher in the bottom. I have obviously customized my device, but... This is just a skin. You're still going to be running 2.3.3. I'm going to show you that with ADW settings. Phone settings, we'll scroll down to about phone. And as you can see, 2.3.3 baseband, same as um, Freo. And then I'm running, I'm running a custom kernel, but uh, if you want to check out the kernels, link with the description, or you can click on the screen now if you remember to do that. And it will bring you to a video I talked about kernels yesterday. Um, that's really pretty much it guys. That's how you flash CM7 from Froyo. It's a very solid device. You can overclock it, underclock it, um, to about 1.3 gigahertz, 1.13 gigahertz, um, on the custom kernel, I mean on the stock kernel, and then if you want to flash a different kernel, you can overdo about 1.2. Um, I enjoyed it very much so far. I haven't had any issues. Battery life is relatively good. I get about a day and a half of moderate use and about a day of heavy use. And standby time about three or four days. So um, it's pretty good. All the apps work fantastic. Um, I had a little bit of issues with this at first, but I got it to work. Um, this And yeah, so that's pretty much it. Let's just open up the market to show you that it works fine. Here's the market. You can download all your apps. None of the apps have crashed yet. So I hope this helped. If you have any questions on how to customize it or any you want any more tutorials on CM7, what customizations I use or what have you, let me know and I will try my best to do it. Uh, the camera, let's just take a quick picture.
the camera works. The camera works fine. So let's just go to my pictures to show you that real quick. Here's the camera. As you can see, it takes very good pictures. We can zoom all the way in, and you can see the MacBook. And I'll just double tap, go out. Um, and so I hope that you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, leave a comment in the description, like I said earlier. But for Apple Fanatic, this is me saying peace and have fun with your newly flashed CM7 nightly build.